So, if you watch many movies, you've probably heard of Benedict Cumberbatch, the actor. He's had many roles. Um, some of his characters are Doctor Strange, uh, Sherlock Holmes. My personal favorite was Smaug the Dragon. Those miserable, top trading men. A smaller role Cumberbatch played was that of Colin L. McKenzie in the amazing war movie 1917, which is, of course, set in the First World War. He actually played another character in a First World War movie, um, War Horse, by Steven Spielberg. But as far as I know, these characters aren't connected, sadly. Um, anyway, today I'm going to be drawing Colonel McKinsey. But this would be after the events of 1917. I'm thinking around the German Spring Offensives of 1918. If only there was a sequel to the movie. So, at least in the movie, uh, McKinsey's eyes were kind of like underneath the helmet, kind of small, and um, just kind of peering out from under the helmet, but I did them bigger, partly because of the cartoon effect, and also because in the heat of battle, you know, you'd be trying to look where you're going, look where, you, where your enemies are, so yeah, I did them a bit different. So for the skull on McKinsey's face, I didn't want to do a color that was too red because it would look like a fresh wound, so I had to make it kind of like a light pinkish color since it's been there for at least a couple of years by now. After I got the head done, I just kind of went for it, you know, I got, I tried to get his face down as best as I could, so I just let my imagination run wild. I tried to get things, you know, historically accurate as I could. I'm not too experienced with the historically accurate stuff right now, but I did my best. For the gun, since I know a lot of you history buffs out there are big gun guys, uh, I tried to draw a Colt 1911. Uh, not that good, not very detailed. Um, I don't draw guns very often, so, you know, this is the best I could do. Behind McKinsey, I'm drawing one of his uh, loyal soldiers. Um, this guy, you know, he's in for it, really. He's, I'm just giving him a shovel. I don't know what happened to his gun. He's got a shovel, and he's got to fight for his life now. Poor bloke. Um, but here he is, uh, protecting McKinsey's bag. So I wanted this scene to be close quarters and gritty. So I'm drawing this German guy um, coming right over the hill here. He's, he's ready to take these British guys on. You know, he's just run across no man's land. So he's screaming his head off. And everyone's just having a pretty terrible day. So, I'm just finishing up the final touches here, some rain dripping off the helmets, and a couple textures in the background, and there we go. I admit, I could have done Mackenzie's face a bit bad here. I'm not too good at capturing specific looks yet, but practice makes perfect, and you know, 
for your artists out there, you get better with every picture you draw. Uh, so there you go. There's the inspirational quote of the day. Although I'm sure someone said that before. Uh, anyway, have a good one, guys. Thanks for watching.